Now, it's been 16 days since intermittent power cuts and power outages became a daily occurrence. The majority of people who are dependent on small and medium-scale enterprises have been severely affected by the power crisis. They cut the power at 8.30 a.m. It's 11.30 now, but we have not received power as of yet. Our work has accumulated. We have no income. They cut power for about three and a half hours. This is very unfair. Everyone from the area gathers here. I have no other option than to close this place. Our work has accumulated. We have bank loans that must be settled. Everything is halted. The crowds have to wait in line. They are scolding us. We have to use traditional pounders to grind paddy now. It's 4.22 p.m. and we have not received power as of yet. They must stick to what they say. If it is three hours, power should be cut for three hours. of April over legal action filed by the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka claiming that since the 28th of May 2017, the CEB had not submitted the relevant documents to the PUCSL on the planned power cuts. As per estimates, every unit of power that is not supplied generates an economic loss of 120 rupees. The PUCSL had informed the CEB to submit the relevant information, but we did not receive any response. And therefore, the PUCSL decided to take legal action on this matter. We have filed a case in this regard. Meanwhile, the Court of Appeal issued a writ of certiorari today, annulling the circular issued by the Ceylon Electricity Board in 2014, increasing the salaries of engineers attached to the CEB. The Court of Appeal held that the circular issued by the CEB on the 27th of November 2014 was illegal. Court of Appeal Judge Justice Mahinda Samarwardhana also ordered the CEB to pay the petitioner's court charges of 200,000 rupees. The order was issued after considering a petition filed by the CEB General Employees Union, also known as the Lanka Viduli Podusevaka Sangamaya.